welcome to Culture Buzz and welcome to Israel. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, tell us uh, what brings you here? Uh, basically business. Uh, I organize a, a music convention in the uh, called IDE, Amsterdam Dance Event. And yeah, they invite me to come This is the biggest event, right? Worldwide, practically, yeah. in dance music. With, am I right? The airplane. Yeah, 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 we organize basically the biggest conference or festival on the global for the music. Right. Which means we have 34,000 uh, conference delegates from 65 countries to come over to do business. Because we are part of the creative industry, of course. And the scene in Holland is quite strong. We have quite a success with uh, Dutch artists. Uh, and we also organize a festival with about 2,000 DJs performing uh, during five nights at the 95 locations. Wow. It's quite big. Quite big. Yes. And uh, is that how you got to hear of Israeli DJs before you even came here? Or? I mean, where is, is Israel located on the, in this scene? Uh, I don't think it's still small. It's very small. Yeah, very small. Yeah. I'm not really familiar with the Israeli and uh, music scene. But that's the reason to come over here. Okay. To uh, connect with the industry over here and to see uh, uh, yeah, how the scene develops. And, uh, yeah, also to learn uh, from my perspective. Because we try to create a global uh, uh, event. So I try to understand. Right. So you came here to learn for yourself, for, for what you do, yeah, and yeah, also to, uh, to get to know the industry here. Yeah. And you're also sharing with the people here what you have already learned, right? We were on a panel this morning. Yeah, I, I, I did a Q&A, and so I was out to give some extra information to the audience. Uh, yeah, I think it's really important to share knowledge and, and the network. Because electronic music is, has to, the power to do this because there's no necessary, necessary anymore to think in borders. Right. It's kind music of the... music can cross all the borders because there's no language problem in it. And DJs, they can travel alone, so the mobility, mobility of them is it, really high. Because they can go from one place to another easily uh, without... Too much equipment. Uh, too much equipment, of course. It's flying over a whole bit. Much more. Right. And usually electronic music is just one person. Just one person. Right. If it's yeah. a DJ, if it's a creative DJ. A DJ, of course, that brings humanity more and more. Yeah. Depends on how famous you are. Right. So um, there was a whole discussion this morning on a panel uh, held by, uh, powered by BPM before the panel that you participated in, asking whether there was in electronic music such a thing as Israeli sound. So uh, with your uh, comment on the uh, transnational aspect of electronic music, I was wondering, even if not just relating to Israel, which you are just now starting to know, is there such a thing as like national or regional sounds in electronic music? Uh, I'm not sure. It's always hard to define nowadays because if there pops up a kind of sub-genre within this genre, it will be adapted very fast all over the globe. Right. You see it in all kinds of trends uh, uh, within the music. But I think, yeah, from here, side trends is quite well known, I think, over here uh, as a sub-genre. Uh, yeah, the music is now so global, so yeah, for me, for me, from my perspective, it's hard to say something about that. Right. So since you're here, have you heard Israeli electronic dance now? Uh, Last night? I, I will tonight. You will tonight? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So, uh, yeah. There, was, like, there uh, wasn't any last night already? Some, right? some, uh, some dance for oh, tonight. Electronic dance? Electronic music no, dance? Most, or? most, most, uh, most uh, 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 average dance. Okay. Uh, you're looking forward to see more. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I hope, I hope to learn more from the country. So I, I think it's necessary to, co yeah, definitely to come back another time. 
first time you see a scene is always hard to sort out the right key players. The organization is really nice. The organization of the, of the events, yeah. yeah. Good. So that's, that's, uh, Great, so we're, we're very happy that you're here and uh, that you see this as an opening chord. And yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, I think with organizing the event like we do, it benefits also uh, the local scene a lot. We now bring about 36 million euros into the local economy just by organizing uh, our events right. because we attract a lot of tourists. Right. Uh, we also uh, try to be an in innovative platform for the city. So there are more brands coming over to present their uh, new developments. Uh, and it is also a business platform. So a lot of deals within the scene are made at uh, event I organize. So it gives them a really strong opportunity for uh, the Dutch scene as well. Excellent. So thank you very much and uh, we hope you have a great day and we hope to see you back again soon. I will. Thank you.